Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Drew and this is Just a Guy Linux. One of the reasons why we picked Debian is because it is stable and secure. And I gotta say, I've been a little bit pissed about Debian uh, in the last few releases. In 12.3, there was a buggy kernel. In 12.4, there was a buggy kernel to the point where uh, it broke many Wi-Fi users. And then in 12.5, it broke the NVIDIA drivers. So when it came out uh, on the 29th of March that the April 6th release date for 12.6 12, uh, 12 was going to be postponed, I was like, what the heck? Why is, what's going on here? So I was not aware of the entire XZ exploit at that time. But the more I looked, the more I thought, holy crap, this is, this is big. So in case you're interested, I'll um, give you the nickel tour. Um, what happened was Debian testing user Andres Freund, who is also a Microsoft engineer, says, I accidentally found a security issue while benchmarking Postgres changes. Now, when he says that, it's like, how bad were the changes? They were half a second slower. That's all it took for him to kind of go into and figure out what was actually happening. Why is it taking half a second extra for this particular process. So he documented all of this information here on this open wall. And it's fascinating. Again, I don't understand hardly any of it, but it goes into a discussion that these two particular libraries have been infected with a cyber threat. As you can imagine, these two software uh, repositories have been taken down for, to uh, eliminate further, further problems. I'm gonna go back over here to Andres's uh, Mastodon and I'm going to um, go to his home because I wanted to read you this particular posting from Damian Miller that Andres boosted. And it reads, here's my two cents on the incident. This is the nearest of near misses. Anyone who suggests this was any kind of success is a fool. No system caught this. It was luck and individual heroics. And that's not acceptable when unauthorized access to every server on the internet is on the table. We need to find a way to do better. Going further, Damien also said, this won't be the last sophisticated methodical OSS supply chain attack. The actors, and notice I put the plural there. Actors behind XZ are probably already learning their lessons ahead of their next attempt. Indeed, XZ might not be the only attack they had in progress. The next one is going to be more carefully operated and harder to spot. And how are we going to stop it? When I say actors here, I am not a conspiracy theorist. However, you've got to think about who could be behind this. And it could be really frightening if you let your mind go and, and think about this. Let me suggest two technical videos that I watched. Uh, the first one is by the guy Low Level Learning. And uh, it's only eight and a half minutes long, but it was fascinating. Um, the one I watched, which was over an hour and 20 minutes, was the one that the prime time, the primogen, uh, had. And Low Level Learning was his guests on this particular video. Like I said, an hour and 20 minutes fascinating about how this actually came to be. As far as my opinion is concerned, I feel fortunate that I am on Debian Stable because I could be on either testing or unstable or a different distribution that is more cutting or bleeding edge. But with regard to Debian Stable, I feel like there is a buffer in between some of these exploits or maybe future exploits and stability and security. So when it comes right down to it, I feel very fortunate to be on this particular platform. So if you are on Debian testing, unstable or experimental, um, there is a, a security announcement that says, Right now, no Debian stable versions are known to be affected. Compromised packages were part of the Debian testing, unstable, and experimental distributions. Make sure 
that you are updating your packages on those particular environments. I thought a couple more of these Damian Miller postings was uh, poignant, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, read them. Few of the mooted software supply chain defenses would have prevented this as the attacker was a relatively long-term maintainer, was not averse to using sock puppet accounts, and was careful to hide their exploit from automated tools. Worse, many of the solutions being offered increased the workload on maintainers, but maintainers burnout was another key factor in this incident. We need to find a way to support maintainers without being prescriptive or parentalistic. And then the last thing, one factor in this incident was deep unexpected dependency chains. I wish distributions would start taking a more minimalistic approach to the options they enable in the default packages they ship. Now that's, I think that's a really interesting um, point to, to make. And because it also leads to this comment or this sentence where it says, fewer dependencies means less attack surface and less supply chain risk. So at the beginning of the video, I was a little terse with Debian because of the bugs that they shipped with 12.3, 12.4, 12.5. But if it takes extra time to getting 12.6 ready, I'm all for it. I mean, I don't even have a problem at that it, it, with that any longer because if it takes that time to avoid the problems that others are encountering, I am 100% okay with that. I feel terrible that this particular maintainer was taken advantage of. He had documented uh, mental health issues. The fact of the matter, he may have been targeted from the very beginning. Um, I feel terrible that this has happened. I hope that we will learn from this. So if it takes these maintainers a little bit more time and they need to exhibit a little bit more of a prickly uh, personality, then I don't really care. I mean, after all, Linus Torvalds is not the warmest human being on the planet, but his contribution to our community is undeniable. I almost said suck it up, Buttercup, but I reined myself back in. Uh, thank you for all that have been watching up until this point. If you are interested in the resources that I use for this particular video, I will link to them in the description below. And until next time, talk to you soon.